I wanted to quickly run through these reverse bubble skip encounter patterns that I've been using recently. Uh, there's a there's a handful of these, these first few that happen more often than the others, but I'm going to go through all of them and show you how I uh, managed to do this. I try to keep the pixels that I aim for and movement all to be really consistent throughout all of them so you only have to remember one really one thing each one or two things for each pattern so this is the smalls stop right here is it right for all movements. Grab the heart. You want to jump and land right behind this boomerang. That way it's always going to be the same. Bottom. Just go. That's number one. This is the bottom with the heavy behind. Behind you. doing. You actually stop on that tile instead. Land right behind the boomerang. Top center. This is the heavy in the front encounter, so this one is going to be fairies. Land right behind it. Do a little turn back if you need to to get behind the boomerang. Top right. This one exit right on this one. And then you can just go. This is number four. Those, all, those ones are all pretty consistent. This is starting with number four. They get a little bit tougher. Not unreasonably so. All right, this is the back spawn. The heavy behind you. This one you go over here. It's fast. Oh, see, I messed it up. It's a fast encounter. This one's the, probably the fastest one out of all. Because 
you don't stop or, or wait for anything. Get right behind that. Boomerang, tink it if you can. Top center. This is going to be fast. Just go. Comes right at you. Exit left. Go. Next one. Five. This one's going to be the bottom spawn. top right, but you gotta move immediately before they move, start moving. And you know you got it if that heavy encounter goes down. It's gonna be, that guy's gonna show up on the top, but you can just keep walking. Because he'll always go off to the side there. Alright, six, this is where these, these last two are new just recently figured this one out. This is the top spawn. And the hard part here, I might mess it up a few times, is the actual first bubble skip. Because you have to do, an, a, do a, uh, the timing for an actual slink. It's not just kiting. fast, you'll hit that guy. If you go too slow, the, the large encounter will hit you. I'm trying to use a visual cue with the heavy on the right, where his hand is kind of in the middle of the tile, the water tile. There we go. Exit left. This is the thing you gotta reckon, remember here. For that one, you exit left, and then everything else is standard. Get right behind it. This one's to the right. Let him come in, and you just go. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you gotta wait. You gotta wait for it. <laughs> Getting right behind the boomerang helps you to be within the right frame roll, depending on how uh, which frame roll you're on. That kind of determines. Now I say frame roll; it hasn't really been determined what the tolerance is, how big that frame roll is. But as long as you're within a few pixels, and by a few I mean it's generous. All right, so this is the last one. This is a small encounter, but there's a specific difference. So you do it the same way as the first one. This happens sometimes if you're late on a bag. You get a really late bag. Everything else is the same. But in here, you'll notice the gorilla actually waits. So you got to wait here. Go. Do the 
everything else the same. And then this exit is a little bit different. Alright. Wait here. Till right there. When the heavy one's coming up the pattern, that's when you go. Then he'll come at you. Stab. And then this is the only one you gotta wait for. Everything else you can just go. There we go. Seven different reverse bubble skip manipulations. Thanks for watching.